All right, in this tutorial, we're going to work on the front end. We've kind of finished the back end. Um, so let's go ahead and grab the front end here. And what we're going to do is push this out a little bit further. So we've got negative 16. I'm going to go ahead and type in 18. It'll just give us a little bit more room. Let's say maybe even further 20. Okay, for that, that way we'll spin around. We may be able to turn off the camera. Let's go ahead and go. It's really pain. All right, 25. That way we can spin around and not get blocked all the time. Okay, 30. That gives us a lot of room, but we can still you know, use it as a reference when we go into our side view. All right, another thing we need to do is pop this back into our front. All right, so we got it selected. Go ahead with your uh, front view and flip that around. Now I'm having a really tough time figuring out what the heck this is. So obviously this is an air vent and coming in, but my hood looks like it's not going all the way down. So I'm having a hard time. If, if this front panel is going to come all the way around, um, I have a feeling that that's what's going on. Alright, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's see what's going on. Um, I do want to clean up my hood. Uh, let's go to our attribute or our channel editor and uh, turn on my hood so I can select it. Go to my side view and this is my front panel. I'm going to turn that off so we can see what the heck is going on. So we're going to go to Vertex. And so you can see this is my hood right here. I think this dash line is my hood. Oh, this is really tricky to see what is going on here. All right, so we're going to pull this down. You may come up with a different solution, but I think this is right. All right. Pulling in, and, oh, wow, look at that, it actually goes beyond. Beyond what I had here. All right, select that. I'll well, see a couple of these. Definitely need to go into one mode with this. Okay, I'm going to turn on my front panel. I think everything was snapping to it, so it looks like this just may go under. So I get close to where we were. All right, I think this stuff is snapping to my front panel. Hit B and snap it to there. All right, so now we'll just look at what we have and just kind of bend it down. really looks like because we don't have a car here. Pull that up. Just kind of give it a little bit of a bend here. Just give it up. Just make sure these are snapping to where they need to be.
That looks so silly. You know what? And you're just looking at your line to make sure it has a good flow to it. Alright, let's look at our front view. Let's see what the damage is. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we've got this line here. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know if that's the end of the hood, but um, look at the front view here. So it looks like. The top view. Maybe that'll give us a couple of clues where the. Okay. So this is the second panel. So probably what we'll do is do another um, bump map with here, so we show this uh, crease right here. But this 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 extends out, and we're doing right. Um, we're doing it correct. So looks like we'll just go ahead and shape this real quick. Just, just extrude it straight down and start making that exhaust hole there. Um, we'll go ahead and go, oops. Shit. And we'll go ahead and extrude it. Hit W. Pull that down again. Make sure you keep your faces together on this. Let's go to our front view. do is go ahead and start sculpting this out. Probably need to turn off. Alright, I need to put that one back panel onto a layer. So I'm not selecting it all the time. Click, add select, turn that off. Alright, so let's go to our front view. Alright, that way we're not accidentally grabbing that all the time. That can be a pain. So I'm just going to bump this up. Bump that up. A nice curve. Pull this data up. And we'll start sculpting this guy out. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude it, W. G, W. G, W. Okay. Let's do this. G, W. One more time. All the way to All the way through. G, W. Alright, so now we'll start sculpting this, so we can start creating this air intake. Okay, this will be about midway point here. I'm just kind of curve it around, make sure it looks somewhat healthy. Alright, use this as the bottom point here. Split it one more time down this 
Okay, we don't want to add too much geometry, but I think this is necessary. Alright, right click vertex. And W. Let's give us a little bit more geometry so we can start sculpting this out. Bring this closer. guys can see this, I know I'm doing a lot of a lot of points, but again you just want a nice fluid line coming down here. I need to move this over. It's probably messing up all our geometry, but just want a nice fluid look to it. Right. Looking pretty good. Let's see what it looks like up front. Probably looks awful. <laughs> All right, not too bad, not too bad. All right, so what we're gonna do is start sculpting it from the side view. Go ahead and snap it all the way back here. So, it looks like that air intake is right there, so this may work out. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to make a marquee and grab all of this. Kind of hit R and size it down. Hit e, just rotate it. Alright, what we're doing is just getting this to sit right there. Alright, so it looks like. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. All right, so again, got some wild looking stuff here, some interesting geometry. Just kind of clean it up. Use your own eyes. Get a nice curve to it. All right, so now what we want to do is I'm just going to grab these faces. And it looks like it's a sharp edge in. Uh, oops. Let's go ahead and see if we can do. Uh, may do have to do a shift. Sometimes when the arrows here, you have to do a shift to kind of select it. Go ahead and do an extrude. I'm gonna go ahead and click on here and hit W. And push this back. And I'm going to hit R, size it down. And that is that. I'm going to go ahead and select these three and hit my magic button delete. And move these guys over to the left. W. There we go. All right. Looking pretty good. Let's hit three. All right. Now we're going to have very sharp lines there when we do our um, subdivisional or our um, partials. But that's looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is, uh, on the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and finish this out. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, just because you, you saw the thought process I was going through. I'm doing this uh, live, so not I don't really have any ideas before I go into this. Kind of just looking at the drawing and uh, kind of improvising on how to model this. But we'll finish this out, and we're really getting close to making it look like a definite color. So... Um, stay tuned, we'll definitely have enough, another tutorial after this one.